Hi, I thought I'd do a uh, little video on uh, LCD. Um, I've got here, it's an 8x2 uh, standard footprint LCD. It's from uh, New Haven Display. And I thought I'd just uh, show uh, powering the thing up and uh, seeing what it looks like. It's um, a nice compact little 8x2 uh, LCD. It's actually uh, upside down, I believe. I believe the text is uh, showing this way. It's got a mounting bracket here. It's an industry standard footprint, uh, about uh, 40 millimeters by 35 millimeters, I think it is. Standard Hitachi uh, sort of LCD uh, pinout interface there. And this is the non backlight version, which is very thin. It's much thinner than the, the, the backlight ones, about, say, that thick or something. It really is quite substantially thicker. So this has either got a transflective or more likely a reflective um, backing on it. And uh, I've uh, sold it. Normally it doesn't come with the pin header on there. I've soldered a pin header onto it. It's got standard mounting holes and these are available from every one hung low manufacturer on the planet. Eight characters by two lines. Really neat little compact display. And this is actually a uh, New Haven one. There it is. It's an NHD 0208 AZ RN YBW. Um, so I thought we'd power it up, give it a go. Let's try it. And just to get this thing up and running really uh, quickly, the minimum amount of fuss, I thought I'd use my uh, Bus Pirate. I uh, haven't used it before. I've got a Bus Pirate version 3.5. I think it's a slightly older uh, model. It's available from Dangerous prototypes. It's open source uh, hardware. It's really good for, you know, uh, decoding serial interfaces, you know, SPI, I squared C and all that sort of stuff. But it's got like uh, built in modes to drive LCDs and drive various, you know, uh, dozens and dozens of types of chips. Really handy little device. It runs on a uh, PIC 24. Um, what is it? A 24FJ64, GA002 there. It's got a FT um, uh, 232 uh, interface, serial interface there. So it's got, you know, the generic uh, uh, FT driver and it's got a um, just a header on the output. And of course, this doesn't have enough pins to drive a standard LCD. So uh, you can get this uh, companion board here, which is a um, which is the Bus Pirate LCD adapter. Once again, um, I think uh, maybe a new version is available. It's open source hardware, CCBY uh, SA. And um, it just uh, has the standard interface for the HD44 um, 780 LCD interface. But unfortunately, it doesn't um, have a the dual inline header, pin header, which is what we need here for this LCD. So I'm going to use a uh, converter cable for that. I believe somebody's actually gone and made a uh, new version of this because it is open source hardware. It would have been nice if it had like the uh, dual inline one and maybe uh, like a couple of other uh, flat flex uh, ones as well, different pitches. But anyway, we can uh, make do with this. It's got a uh, 74HC595 uh, on there, uh, serial to parallel uh, converter, really basic chip. It's got the contrast adjust. It's got everything we need. Um, a couple of things for the backlight. We're not gonna use the backlight, but this should be uh, able to get our LCD up and running with minimum fuss. Let's give it a go. Haven't used this before, should be interesting. So I've just made up a uh, converter cable here, single in line. I've soldered uh, two headers back to back like that. And uh, that just allows me to plug that directly into there. And uh, this has got individual uh, leads, of course. And um, I plug them in there because it's a standard pin out. This pin out here from one through to 16 follows the pin out on here precisely. So. Uh, um, that's, you know, it's really hard to goof up the pin out on that. So um, let's do it. Let's plug it into the uh, serial port. It uses a terminal uh, program. So we'll use uh, TerraTerm and try and talk to this and get a Hello World running. Okay, I've got uh, TerraTerm here plugged in and it's uh, set to 115,200 board on, uh, on the serial port, which happens to be COM2 here. And it's working just fine. You do question mark. I'm talking to the device and there's all of the uh, commands and various um, options. So now we can um, actually start talking to the thing. We can go M for mode and it's got the various modes available. As you can see, one wire, UART, I squared C, SPI, uh, you know, two wire, three wire and LCD. So we want number eight, of course, and we're, we've got the LCD prompt here now. Excellent. So now we can use the uh, 
capital, uh, these commands, you've got to read the manual, of course, they're not obvious. Um, we use the W command uh, for the power on, and if we have a look over here at the same time, we should see, so let's hit that, and so let's have a look, let's go, here we go, and power should switch on, it does. There's the power, so we're turning on power to the LCD, and uh, uh, well, we probably have to adjust the uh, contrast uh, pot and stuff like that, so let's try the contrast. It's not, I'm turning it all the way one end and all the way to the other end, this is on the LCD board, and I'm getting nothing, so that is, well, I think we have an issue there straight up. Something's going on, because normally um, you would see all black characters come up when you apply power, even though you haven't um, initialized the LCD and done stuff like that, so I would have expected to see all black characters on there. Um, something's wrong. Bloody Murphy's Law, nothing ever works first go, so let's, um, I get, let's see, uh, golden rule of troubleshooting, thou shall check voltages. So I'm going to check pins one and two here, which are these two here, to see if we're getting voltage on our LCD here. Uh, no, we're getting 0.5 volt. <laughs> We're getting 0.5 volts. Um, wah, fail, that should be uh, five volts on pins one and two. So let's, that's ground and five volts there on our, um, probably can't uh, zoom in and get that at the same time. I won't bother, but let's have a look here. Ah, there we go, nut labeled on the back. Lovely, love it. And uh, that's ground and five volts, so. What? We are getting five volts. Um, because, yeah, the power's switched on. We've got our V reg, we've got our power light uh, led there on, which indicates that power, because this micro can switch power through to the output connector, and it is. But we're not getting on here. What is going on? Oh. Oh, hang on. I think we have a trap for young players here. I'm suspecting this ribbon cable because it's supposed to be connected directly through. There's nothing but tracks on here. So, I think I've had this a dozen times before. I think our cable might be back to front, might be swapped. I thought this was the cable that came with it, um, but it's um I don't think it is. Um, let me let me check that. And yeah, I checked it, and it does actually. Um, it's it's been swapped. So I've got another cable here. If we have a look at these two, All right, hang on. Let's let's have a look at the difference on these two cables here. This is the one that didn't work, as you can see. It's uh, pin one's here, pin one's there. Okay, and they've both got the notch over there, like that, so, but if you look at this end, the notches are different. This one has the notch on the outer side, that one's got the notch on the inner side. Wah, fail. So let's plug that in and see, hopefully we haven't uh, blown anything up, probably not. Um, so now let's uh, Measure, well, might have something on the LCD. No, nothing yet, but let's measure pins one and two. And bingo, we now have five volts. Okay, so I, unless this LCD is faulty, we should, if we adjust this trim pot here, see if I can get both on the screen at once, we should get all black characters. Hey, there we go. There it is. Bingo. So we've only got it on one line, of course, so we set our contrast just below where it sort of fades out like that. Ah, oh, my <laughs> notebook just shut down and switched off the power, but anyway, that should work a treat now. All right, one more time for the dummies. Let's give that a go again. Let's get back in here. We're all hunky-dory there. We need to get into the mode again. And uh, let's get into LCD mode. We're in LCD mode. W, we'll hit that, and we should see our LED here come on. 
Ta-da! Right, our power, and we can just see the characters on the uh, LCD there. Let me just trim that down just a tad. There we, there we go, that'll do. Anyway, let's give that a go. Right, now, um, what we want to do now is go into the macro menu. So we want to do a bracket zero like this, and that puts us into uh, the macro, uh, various macro options. And uh, that's the thing, this is uh, pre-programmed into the uh, bus pirate for um, uh, you know, testing LCDs and for other uh, items, you know, for the SPI and I squared C and all that sort of stuff. But we're in the LCD menu and we can just go LCD reset. So I believe we have to do one bracket and yep, we've reset. And uh, let's do init LCD. So we need to do, sorry, two. Okay, bracket, which I like means command. Now, display lines, one line or multiple. Well, we've got two lines, so we want to do two, multiple, init. There it is. Um, it should be ready. Ah, there we go. Bingo. We've got our cursor. There you go. It's working. Um, so I, I am pretty darn confident now that if we just um, send this um, characters and strings, they will be displayed on the LCD. So... Uh, we can do that directly, according to the example, EEV blog, as a string like that. Otherwise, we can send a direct ASCII character just by uh, typing in its value. Um, so EEV blog, and it should pop up. Ta-da! Look at that. Too easy. How easy was that? Once we uh, sorted out the stupid uh, issue with the cable there, it uh, works a treat. And uh, it should, in theory, work for... Uh, every, um, you know, uh, Hitachi compatible uh, LCD on the market. There are various slight subtle differences between them sometimes, and I have encountered where, you know, I'll have 10 brands work with code and you think it's rock solid, and then there's another one which is supposed to be compatible, but it just doesn't work due to some, you know, minor little uh, difference. But pretty much, you know, 90 or 99% of them on the market are gonna be compatible with this code, so that's, Brilliant, and um, if we want to write something to the next line, uh, presumably we're able to do that. Now, we can't just, um, you know, do hello world, for example, and have it wrap around, because these um, the chipset for these LCDs is designed for 40 character display, regardless of even if it's a tiny little uh, eight uh, character one like this, the chipset, the memory map in the chipset is the same across all the different LCDs, and it has a maximum of 40 um, uh, lines. So what we need to do is uh, we need to, I think we can call up the macro menu again, and here it is, cursor position. So this is what we want. We want four, and then we want the cursor position. So we can't just do cursor position nine and expect it to wrap around to the next character. It's not going to do it. It's going to display 40 and it was zero to 39, and the 40th one will be this first one. So if we go 40, like this, we should see the cursor jump to bingo, we do. It's all working as expected. Brilliant. This bus pirate, I'm liking this. It's a real easy way to experiment with LCDs. And then we can, of course, go uh, EEV blog, and let's do Sagan, exclamation mark. Oh. Position in degrees. No. Whoa, what's that? Exclamation mark was probably bad. Whoop. That's horrible. Okay. Whoop. No, something's gone horribly wrong here. Let me check. No, servo active. Oh, God, I've done something horrible here. No, I shouldn't have, uh, shouldn't have, uh, done, because I forgot to put the quote marks in. I'm a, I'm a dumbo. PWM disabled. I've gotten into some PWM mode. There we go, go figure. We're back to the LCD command. All right, Sagan, exclamation mark, <clears throat> quote, bang, there it is. Winner, I like it. All right, <laughs> and we can just type in characters directly. So let's type in one, and that will send one as the ASCII character one, and let's see what we get. Hey, there we go, we've just got a custom character by the looks of it. So let's clear that. 
What's the command for clear again? Was it three? Three, there we go. Bang, and it's reset and homed our cursor. So we can just type in one like that, and it, and it writes, as you can see, it writes the one there, and it puts in the custom character um, down there, because this is not part of the regular. Uh, no, well, it's, yeah, it's just putting in, you know, dummy stuff. But if we go, you know, 50, that's, you know, ASCII for 50, there it is, bang. So we can write directly, um, you know, ASCII characters in like that, or we can just do the string, of course. So, hello, and then we'll go 4, 40, we've got to do a hello world, otherwise it's not a proper test. Uh, 40, yes, and then quote marks, hello world, do we want the exclamation mark or not? Let's put in the exclamation mark, hello world, there it is, beautiful, I like it, and uh, this LCD seems to be quite good. I like it. Uh, it's not the best uh, light here, but that's, you know, it's a bit glary, a bit reflective, a bit dark when I turn it down like that. But the contrast on this New Haven display is, uh, is pretty good. I rather like it. This is the non-backlight version. And uh, anyway, I think it's going to work a... a well, this uh, format is going to work a treat. I won't use the New Haven one because they're uh, fairly expensive compared to what you can uh, get them um, in uh, other brands. But uh, I had this one, so I thought I'd uh, try it out. And they're a nice little compact format LCD. I really like them. Uh, 40 millimeters by 35 or so. And uh, highly recommend. I think they're 8 millimeters um, thick, in like from the back of that uh, bracket there to the front. So quite low profile and uh, you can get them for only a couple of bucks each in significant quantities anyway. So really neat little display. Anyway, I hope you like that. That's um, some little LCD testing with the Bus Pirate. And if you want to discuss it, jump on over to the EEV blog forum and uh, please give it a thumbs up if you like it, because that helps a lot. Catch you next time.